At the moment, we're sort of taking a little bit of a sabbatical from Culture Club. People kind of want to believe, you know, they want to sort of be elevated. And I think as a DJ, you can do the same thing. Why don't I show you around this gorgeous hotel through the corridors of my mind? I think you have more freedom DJing than you do in pop music at the moment. I haven't really made money from my musical career in a long, long time. I mean, that's not why I do it, but I mean, you know, to if I had to sustain my lifestyle through music, I would probably be living in a, in a tent right now. First time I ever DJ was in 1979. Um, my friend used to run a new romantic club. Have you met my drag queen friend, Sue Real? He knew that we would <laughs> enjoy being in the, rec in the DJ box, getting attention all night. <laughs> About seven years ago, I was at a party called Pushka, this big rave in England, and um, I was in this kind of chill out room, and they were playing this cassette tape. And I said to the promoter, why don't you get someone to play records in here? It's very 80s, I feel like I'm in a Visage video. And they said, well, why don't you? And um, so the next time they had the rave, I went there with my records and I DJed. And um, it turned into a career. I'm so extravagant. And so I seized the opportunity <laughs> and started DJing. But I never really planned it to be a career at all. Technology has made it much easier for people to make pop records or dance records. The downside of that is that everybody makes the same record because everybody uses the same samples. This is actually my outfit for this evening. I think it's rather fetching. Even when you're making a record on a computer, you can still put a little bit of yourself into it. So I do a bit of a kind of Bette Davis on the stairwell. Okay. So <laughs> And it could be just one little noise or the way the hi-hat's programmed or the way something drops that makes people go mad in a club. You can't predict it. A lot of the people that were making music around the same time as Culture Club, you know, they're kind of just still doing the same thing. They're all bitter. I'm really joking. <laughs> Don't beat me up. And that's fine. I'm not making a judgment about that. But for me, I would find that very frustrating. I wouldn't want to just kind of, like Groundhog Day, you know, just constantly be just doing that the whole time. To be honest with you, DJing has kind of saved my ass. Should we go back up now? I quite like the escalator theory. Come on, you get on there and I'll, I'll follow you. <laughs> the only difference, I think, between DJing and singing is that as a singer, you can make people go home with a tear in their eye. Even if you kind of like follow the formula, you just might get the bass sound wrong. You know, you might just not have a hard enough kick drum. I guess there's some people like that where you play and they go home crying, I don't know. You can't fight change, it's a bit like burning books. You just have to kind of move with things and, and adapt.